I'm Melissa with 10 Health TV and it is very early in the morning and I am at Red Dirt Running Company with Eddie. And you are the trainer for? Yes, so I'm the head training coach here at Red Dirt Running Company. I run all their marathon, half marathon, um, and all their other training classes here uh, from the store. Okay, so explain why am I here so early in the morning? Well, you know what? <laughs> I figured that you needed a cup of coffee to start your day first. Um, <laughs> But besides that, you know, you might as well get your day started with a nice little long run, followed by some free pancakes as well. So, you know, I mean, that's the best of both worlds right there. Okay, talk about group running. I tend to run alone. That's just the way I do it mm -hmm. normally. Yeah. But what is it, what, what's the mentality of running as a group? Definitely. So, um, you know, you have a lot of different things that are going for you right there. Uh, obviously, you know, you have people to hold you accountable for one, you know, so when it is early in the morning, aka today, um, you know, that people are going to be like, oh, you didn't show up that day, did you? Hmm. So, people to hold you accountable, but also, you know, when it's cold outside, when it's windy outside, just like Lincoln is, um, it's always nice to just kind of be able to run with the group to kind of say, oh, we made it through, you know, we survived the windstorm of you know 2017 or something like that so people hold you accountable but you know also just makes it more fun in general so you know you get people that you become friends with and you get to run with them all the time and those are the people that you're gonna be with on race day as well so it's just kind of a whole experience throughout the training season that and you get to work with those people and who are the people that are doing these runs? Give me a yeah. give me an idea of who will be out on these runs. Everybody. I mean, you know, uh, the good thing about it is that I just have such a diverse group of runners. Uh, you know, you have everyone from the beginners, the first timers. Um, I've got walkers, and then I have everyone up to like the advanced marathon, um, post college athletes. So you know, it's such a wide variety of groups, and that's the kind of the nice thing about it is that when you make those friends out on the run, you know, you find people that are going to be running at your pace, and then those are the people that you know you get to hang out with, and that you know you. Become Become friends with to go on those group runs with. What do you love about running in a group or long distance running? No, definitely. Um, out of that, I would say uh, my really bad puns and my dad jokes. Um, some people in my group would probably disagree, um, but I'm all for uh, you know a good pun um, and a good joke just to make people laugh and have a little bit of fun uh, out on the trail. Cool. All right. Well. Today is a little cold and I have to tell you that, um, number one, I'm not a morning person and I'm not a big fan of cold. It's not my <laughs> natural habitat, so I am going to brave it this morning and give it I'm a try. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'll have pancakes and coffee for you when you get back, so just think pancakes, 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 pancakes the entire run. Okay. Well, maybe not the entire run. That's a lot of pancakes to think about. But That's a lot of pancake yeah. chanting going on <laughs> on the trails this morning. Yes, yes. You'll probably hear it all the way out to Holmes Lake, so you know, if it happens. Beginners, you guys are going four, which is to the dam for you. Intermediate and advanced, you guys are going around the dam um, and then coming back for you to when you're part of a running group, you can go whatever pace you want. There's a there's a variety of paces. People are going to be walking. People are going to be going a 6:30 minute mile. So you just find where you fit in there. So there's not any pressure to feel like you have to run one pace or another. Just go your own speed and it's just nice to know that other people are out there doing the same thing, that you're all reaching for the same goal together, even though it's, it's independent. This is probably one of my first real outdoor runs this season, so I feel pretty decent. I've survived. Hey, my tip for you this week is if you feel that you're training too hard or you've noticed that you're really fatigued, maybe it's a good time to take a rest day. Take a day off or just maybe go for some easy miles instead of that hard scheduled workout for you. Uh, so just listen to your body and really see what it's trying to say to you so you can get the most out of your training. I'm running the full marathon. It's a good way to stay in shape for these cold winter months and these people at Red Dirt are very encouraging. It's hard to be motivated on my own, so I like to get with groups, talk to other people, um, see that there are other people that have similar goals with us, and that's kind of why I like doing these good runs. Yes. I'm walking my first half and just trying to get in shape, 
lose some weight, get my blood sugars in order, and just overall health. So yeah, I'm biting the bullet and doing this for the first time. It really is one of the most fun activities I've ever took part in. And it's something anyone can do, and it doesn't matter if you're fast or slow, or if you've done it before or not, as long as you've got a good support system. There's always someone to help motivate you, regardless of how you're feeling. 